here we are with summertime rendering episode 11 and yeah last episode we went to the clinic in the mountains or forest or whatever and looked around found a hidden entrance hidden door went inside went down into the underground tunnel whatever of the clinic that was hidden and there are some weird ugly ass shadow babies so yeah i guess we will see what that's all about and what's going on down there because we also heard a shot so there is someone down there so we will see how that is or who that is i guess but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode <laughs> oh, oh, they are maybe down there. So they are maybe down there and did the shot. Dude, how many shadow babies are there? <laughs> well, she's also a shadow. Not a good one on their side. Well, bad one on their side. <clears throat> what the? Okay. Can he burn the shadows on the ground? Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> so it connects. <clears throat> What's it called in English? Uh, the tunnels or whatever. I don't know, but it, it it seems like the whole underground thingy connects throughout the whole city, right? So that's interesting. I thought it would maybe lead to somewhere specific, but seems not that way. It's okay, it's, it has been them who fired the shot. I mean, who else would be down there that would have a gun, right? Because, like I said, I, I don't think it was a police guy. I said maybe it was a guy that spoke to Mio and the other girl. But yeah, either it was maybe that guy or maybe Nagumo and the hunter guy. Otherwise, I wouldn't know who else it could be. Does she know at this point about her shadow? I forgot. I 
I don't know. I think he didn't told her in this timeline, right? In this reset. What the fuck? Was this? No, Shiori is dead. Oh. Don't go. <clears throat> Shiori? That can't be. <clears throat> Is this maybe a fake one? <clears throat> what? Okay, I guess it's the real one. <clears throat> I don't go down there. <laughs> Very busy. Hero? Hmm, that sounds interesting. Yeah, of course. <laughs> mhm. Mm yes. So that can't be the real sh Shiori, right? Because the shadow is dead, and there can't be a shadow if the shadow is dead, right? So maybe some weird vision shit? I'm confused. Or maybe there can be shadows of shadows. Even if it or shadows of someone that is already dead and where the shadow is dead. Nani? Mm hmm Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> but the original is gone.
Oh, it's still. Okay, so she works with the shadows. <clears throat> Is she a shadow, maybe? Damn. I guess that's where Shinpei is right now. It's too dangerous. Oh, it's them already catching up. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> Wait. She made a copy and you erased it. And they are there. I was wondering, like, isn't this where they were? So is the Shiori maybe leading them to save Shinpei? Is there another good shadow? Whatever that is. Let me guess, she's the real one, she's not a shadow. <laughs> but why is she working with the shadows? Shoot her in the head, easy. Here's a professor, dude.
Yep, they killed him. Onichan? It's the sister, okay? But it seems like she's doing it against her will. There she goes. I'm so confused. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> really? So it is a trap? Wait, I didn't pay attention. What?
I'm so confused. <clears throat> but we still don't know what the mark is all about. That could maybe negatively impact the time jump when he dies. Cliffhanger. <clears throat> it's a mother, okay. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think, but I'm super confused. Who is what and where and who and what? I don't understand, dude. So, Toiko, or whatever her name is, the sister of Sue, and the professor, doctor, whatever. So, she's not a shadow. She is her real self because she's under, like, her father told him, told her what the fuck is going on, so sh that's why she works with the shadows, so the father is working with the shadows, the Nogoro, or whatever her name was, that helped the doctor, of which we didn't saw the face, maybe also works with the shadows, or is maybe a shadow, um, <clears throat> then the mother is, they know where the mother is, and they give her blood, so she is, is she a living being, she, is she not a shadow, if she would be a shadow, why would she need blood, so maybe she is not, Shadow, I thought they would do this whole sacrificing everything to revive her, basically, but it seems like she's already alive, and maybe they don't do this whole sacrificing bullshit to feed her more, um, I guess. And that's where Shimpe got his eye from, but someone stole that eye, and that is Negumo stole her eye, but something with a, a different body that is somewhere that has an eye is it maybe Shimpe and they don't know that Shimpe has the eye yet so maybe that she got the eye somehow gave it to Shimpe somehow which was which was Ushio at the beginning of the anime in a weird vision whatever the fuck then there's this Heine guy that is like this big dude with the four arms that we saw in this one episode where everything went down the drain. Um, and some shifting ability Negumu can do. I guess that's where she can read the near future. Like she shifted two seconds. So I guess she can see two seconds ahead of time maybe. How does that work? I have no fucking idea. And... Shiri, if she she already knows that somehow she can read that or know that or whatever, and she said nine o'clock is coming or nine o'clock has to come faster because she's hungry and then the mother said she's hungry so maybe Shiori is the mother in some weird shadow form and maybe are connected to each other. And Heine could read Shiori's memories to see what the I I dude this is getting so confusing dude. I'm, dude, I have no idea, man. <laughs> it gets really confusing. Um, So I guess the Heine guy is like one of the main shadows that are like base shadows. I And he was around like 14 years ago. Maybe he was 
the one that maybe took over Negumo's Negumo's brother or whatever and killed him. And that's where Hizuru, which is Negumo, knows him from. Maybe I don't know, dude. It's uh, I'm super confused about what is going on and what is what and who is what and why is what and I don't know, man. It's super confusing right now. There's this episode completely confused the living shit out of me with with what is going on and who is what and what is what, right? It just it's like because they can read they know about shifting somehow, realize that she is shifting, she is shifting, why is she shifting? Why can't she shift? And whatnot and it's they threw so much shit in this episode that compl and put it all together that is like, I don't know, how many minutes? Like, maybe like the last three, four minutes like completely screws you over with information and you don't know what is going on even anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know what the fuck is going on and what is what and who is what and all that stuff. Like, on based on what we know so far not what we will know later because that would be spoilers but like maybe someone can let me know what the fuck is going on with everything that we know from this episode and previous episodes because i'm super confused like super confused like i mean we knew that negumo can shift or like see the near future right but why can she do it? do we know that how that all works like who does she mean with where is the body that took my eye? Is this... I guess that might be Shimpei, right? Um, but how did she took his eye? How could she give him the eye? Was it Negumo that did it? Or... Because what, what we saw in the first episode, it was Ushio that did it. Um, I mean, obviously, we don't know why the father of So and Tokiko, or whatever her name is, is working with the Shadows. How... Uh, how much are they involved with the shadows? Maybe they made the shadows or something, right? Um, there's just so much shit going on. It's completely confusing. So, yeah, I guess that's the episode, right? I I would like to talk more about it, but at this point, I have no idea. I'm just completely confused. And I, I, there's just so much stuff. I have the feeling I have to rewatch the episode or parts of the episode like 10 times and probably still wouldn't figure everything out. Because I probably would have to rewatch other episodes to get all the information that I need. And so what I'm hoping right now for is basically that I can just keep watching and maybe then everything gets revealed and the puzzle pieces fall together. Because right now I'm just completely confused and I don't feel like rewatching like 10 episodes or so to puzzle all the pieces together of what we know so far. <laughs> I'm just confused. But yeah. That's the episode, so yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, or give me some information if you want to, that clears my answers, and my questions, and yeah, thanks for watching, until next time, bye-bye.